In order to make every point more persuasive, it should contain some type of example or evidence of why this point is true and why it's likely to happen. And this can be done through examples and that'll make your point more persuasive. So probably the most persuasive type of example is one that is an actual fact or something that's actually happened. So if you know something that's happened in the news, then that's obviously going to be really persuasive. We definitely see a lot of personal examples being used, but they're probably the least persuasive type of example that you can use in a debate. So when kids start by saying, you know, my cat is really well behaved and likes to be walked around on a lead. We don't know whether your cat's special or whether all cats act this way. So it's definitely not, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> students often use personal examples. And what we, what we mean by this is when a student starts off by saying, my cat does this or my experience at school was this. And even though for that student it might be a, a really good example of what's happened to them, because we're not all able to relate to these examples and because we don't know whether these examples are true, they're not the most persuasive type of example to use in a debate. Similarly, hypothetical examples aren't the most persuasive type of example to use because they're not necessarily relatable to the audience and the adjudicator and they can at times sound made up. Lots of students feel like they need to use statistics, but it really comes down to firstly what type of debate you're doing. So some debates at school are going to be prepared, whereas others will be unprepared. And in a prepared debate, there probably is more of a role for statistics, but it's still important that you interpret the statistic and explain why that statistic is in the case. In an unprepared debate, we definitely wouldn't expect you to just know a bunch of statistics off the top of your head and often statistics that you come across will probably be made up. So again, if you want to use a statistic, make sure that you're citing where it's come from and interpreting why the statistic is the case.